Alright, today we're returning here with the Tournament of Anime, and as you'll see, this one's bound to be a banger. We got the old winners, Demon Slayer, against a whole new team known as ReZero. As y'all remember, side of the last tournament match, we had Hunter x Hunter versus Full Mono Alchemist, and Hunter x Hunter prevailed. I feel like this one's bound to be crazy because, like I said, Demon Slayer won the last Tournament of Anime. So we're going to see here today with their new team, can they do good against ReZero? Like I said, man, every single team has been nerfed and changed, so you're probably not going to see any of the same players from before, but it's bound to be a crazy matchup. Also, I have my boy Flame here today as a special guest. My bad if the vibes are a little bit down. We did record this at like 3 in the morning, but hope you'll enjoy, man. Let me know down below which team you are rooting for. And shit, ISO gang, let's get right into the action. Alright, what's good everybody? It's your boy Call Ice Storm back here with another Mugen video. And as y'all see today, we are here with the second episode of the tournament, the multiverse tournament, and we're returning here with Demon Slayer against ReZero. We decided to go to the bottom of the bracket and move our way up for a little bit. This so we're gonna go with a couple different matchups, jumping around and all that, but I'm gonna try to stick towards the bottom right here. Today I'm with my boy Flame. Flame, say what's up. What's good, YouTube? And we're gonna be doing some matchups, seeing what happens between ReZero and Demon Slayer. So, who you got in this matchup, Flame? I got with Demon Slayer because I, I read and watched the show. I never watched ReZero, so I go with the show that I watch. Demon Slayer gonna win for sure. I think Demon Slayer probably, we're going to see how that goes. Demon Slayer won last tournament, but ReZero, everybody got buffed, some of that, as y'all know. So a lot of things will be more even and more, you know, kind of like balanced. So this should be a good matchup. And so let's get into the first fight. All right, let's get into the first match. We're doing the second strongest on both teams to start this one out. We got Rom and Nezuko. I know you say you've never seen uh, ReZero, but you know who Nezuko is, right? Of course, he's the 14 year old girl the sister of... Hopefully she could take down Rom. If not, Rom probably take this one. I think I think they're both about even a little bit. Rom has a lot of good moves, but Nezuko got that regen for Demon. I don't know. I, I don't really like Nezuko moving like that. It's right. Yeah, now her movements. I, I want to see somebody needs to work on a Nezuko that has the Demon transformation, like her her awakening, her adult mode. That will be fire. That's what I want to see because she has a move that kind of uses it in this, but. She doesn't actually transform. It, it, it seems like the Ram got more range. Got our range yeah, she's she is, but Nezuko got that demon regeneration, so it's kind of helping her a little bit. These are both the second strongest on the team. What'd you say? Who is Ram? Ram, she's kind of like um, what's the name? Subaru's like is that Subaru's girlfriend? Not Subaru's actual girlfriend, but during the show, I think this is a. She's like one of the servants of the mansion. There's like a mansion, and she's one of the servants that are there. I know there's a blue hair one too that everybody likes. Yeah, uh, Rem. Rem is cool as hell. That's the one that was kind of like Subaru's girlfriend at one point, but just a little bit, only for a little while. But his actual yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, my boy be getting all the females. But so far, I'm not gonna lie. Nezuko is actually starting to lose a little bit. She could take this. I'm not gonna lie. I don't see her actually losing, but. I was about to say, Rom has three bars, and I'm not gonna lie, that's probably gonna kill then. Oh my god, the damage. She just needs one more move. The regeneration for Nezuko helps her out. Yeah, that demon regen always helps. Bro, so, she's so close to death. But they're both really low right now. I can see Nezuko coming back. Oh, wait, that's probably, that might kill. She got hit by it. She went back to go. Yeah, but it's not killing. Like I said, most demons, you know, they need like a, a like a really strong blow to finish it. And Nezuko brings it back on the verge of death for the first round. That region carries. Now nah, that region does help OD, especially that shit always helps for demons. That happened last tournament too. The demons they be having they don't, the demon slayer team this time around only actually has one demon, but teams like um the the team let's say Tokyo Gold they have like a full team of people who have like a little bit of regen, which is crazy. Okay. Nezuko be doing some her damage is not really that good though. Damn it's I like Ron Gash will win this turn win this match if she just like range. Yeah, then her ultimate too. Her ultimate's really good, but she has to use it more. Okay, we got a little bit of combos. Ezekiel's doing decent right now. That move stuns people, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, she stunned Nezuko. Some combos. Yeah, she got way more range on uh, Nezuko. Way more range. What'd you say? I said the outcome is still come the same. It's gonna might win this, win this round. Yeah, the regen is helping, and she just is a little. She's a little more aggressive than Rem is or Rom is. That move right there is tough. She needs to spam that move if she wants to win this. Let me know down below. Do y'all like Re Zero or Demon Slayer more? I watch both. I like Demon Slayer more. Re Zero is good though, but pretty sure Re Zero is a Sekai, kind of like a slime. Yes. Yeah, those shows are I. They never really godly. They're really like most of the time they're okay. They're good though. I think the main character is a can't die. Yeah. It looks like Nezuko might even not even need uh she might not go to one percent health this time around because she's actually doing a lot better this fight. Oh there we go. Rom's gonna transfer she has three bars. She might wanna pop a ultimate attack here. It won't do nothing. Yeah, 50 seconds left on the clock. She has the regen. Rom won't pop no moves. I wonder why. <laughs> okay. And Nezuko takes the first match. Demon Slayer is up 1 0. Alright. Like, as you'll see now, I was going to say that too. The reason why I have Blue Exorcist here is because certain teams, like, have, um, as y'all know, I did announce this in the first video too. Certain teams don't have five players. Like, uh, ReZero only has three players. So they had to use two fill in spots. Some people are going to say, why is Reinhardt not on the team? Because his Boogan just keeps glitching out and trying to break the Boogan. So that's why I didn't put him on. But, yeah, there's a couple teams that have, like, fill in players. And my boy Ren's a fill in. I gotta finish Blue Exorcist. I, I never finished it. Yeah, nah, I finished Blue Exorcist. I think once. I watched it twice. So, first time, I don't think I finished it. I went back and rewatched it. Uh, I was on Netflix and that happened. I was like. Oh, I see Demon Slayer. Wait a minute. Yo, Demon Slayer has like a. Is having kind of like a vice versa this time. Now they're having to go against somebody with a little bit of regen. My boy Rin has regen. I know he's like some demon. Yeah, he, he's the he's I think he's the Demon King or somebody's son for sure. I remember that. I haven't watched it. It's been so long since I watched um Blue Exorcist then I don't even remember too much about the show anymore. Sure. I'm not gonna lie, Shinobu got them combos though. For sure, for sure. Okay. Yeah, but he just be comboing. He got the damage on her and he just and he's he's aggressive too. I think Demon Slayer might go down this match. She don't do enough damage with her combos, especially because he regens too. Only like a tiny bit, not that much. Yeah, his regen's not that crazy, but shit, that shit's helping against her because she does like she's more of a combo character, not that much damage. Yeah. So that's one thing for sure. Okay. Yeah, her combos aren't doing nowhere near that 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 poison. Oh, she missed it. That poison slash be helping though, because that shit has constant poison and constant stun. Okay. Yeah, her 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 damage is not there. She does have some clean combos though. If she poisons them, maybe she has a lot of bar, but that's not going right now. She's comboing though. But he's regening almost at the rate she's hitting him. Oh my god, that was a nice move. <laughs> okay. I know a lot of people do like Shinobu. People are gonna be mad when they see Shinobu getting there, getting beat up. Okay. Yeah, but if I were to say I, I can't say I seen this coming, but I didn't know they do her region. So. Yeah. yeah. Let me know down below. Who is your favorite team in the multiverse tournament? Who do y'all want to win? Like I said. Me personally, I like all the shows, like a lot of the shows, not all of them, but I like most of the shows, so I really don't care, but I do want to see, I feel like uh, one team that has been getting, not robbed, but has not gotten, like made it to the finals back to back, One Piece, man, I feel bad for them right now. Two finals in a row, and they lost both of them, one lost one to Fate, and then they lost one to Demon Slayer, which is crazy, but there goes Shinobu, shit, let's get into the third fight. All right, let's get into the third match. It is 1-1 as y'all seen. Now we got Tanjiro. These are the two weakest people on the team, actually, which is surprising. Both of them are both pretty strong, but these are the two weakest on the team. Tanjiro started off with some crazy combos. 
Oh, and I expect Andre B to be different. He literally is, yeah. He lost to, he loses to um, Shinobu pretty badly, too. This form right here is decent. I've seen this form do pretty decent. It's just he doesn't have the health to go with it. You know what I mean? He kind of loses health a lot really fast. What does he got with that form, bro? Like, I have some that. Huh? What feats do you have? Um, for the people yeah. who don't know, I don't want to talk about it too much, but he, they just showed he did have, use like a little Kamameha type of blast in the manga. Oh, there it is. Yeah. He did that. That was the only thing, really. And then he had regen, like really good regeneration. I but really talk, but there's a spoiler. Or yeah, so we're going to keep the spoilers out for the people who haven't watched. For the people who haven't watched, it's not what y'all think it is. Y'all going to have to see it. We're not spoiling nothing. But Tanjiro off rip with some good combos. About to put Demon Slayer up 2 1 right now. I'm about to say, she was low key doing pretty decent last round against it. It's just right now he's going crazy. Oh my god. Conjuro, yo, he's combo extending. That boy's a demon. Okay. 2 1. Let's get into the next match. Okay, now we got Rengoku against Subaru. This one's bound to be crazy. Oh my god, this nigga Rengoku's mad loud. You might want to scoot up a little bit because this thing is super loud. Damn. Okay. Like I said, though, Rengoku's really strong. As y'all see, he's one of the strongest. Well, he is the strongest on the Demon Slayer team now, so I feel like he could do pretty good against Subaru, but Subaru does have like eight lives. That's the thing about Subaru. He's really strong for these turns type of matches. I can't even hear you. This is Rengoku super loud. There we go. Oh my god, the combos by Rengoku. That's one thing about this character. I love that he's finally a movie because he just has the combos to back it all up. Okay, a little bit of combos. Yo, he's chasing Subaru down. Oh, he's pulling out Reinhardt. This one's gonna hurt a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Especially because Rengoku has no type of regen either. We see on the top right, Subaru still has a good amount of lives, I'm pretty sure. So he could die and come back a couple times. But did Rengoku even get hit by that? Oh, he did. Oh, he's popping it twice? Oh, nah, this is finna. I don't know how much damage that's finna do, but that's finna hurt. Two in a row is crazy. Oh, Rengoku took a little damage, too. And Rengoku stunned. He's charging up. Yo, Rengoku took a good amount of damage. Oh, and he's summoning the dogs. Okay. Rengoku had that match in a bag, too. He's just completely folding right now. Yeah, it's not going too good for Rengoku right now. Oh, there we go, Rengoku. Seventy seconds on the clock. Re re oh, yeah, I about to say, that boy Subaru, I think he's finna come back to life. Yep. Now Rengoku has to deal with the next life. I don't know how much other Rengoku's gonna get back. Yeah, this guy, his power is kind of like reverse in time, so I feel like he, he should get both of them back. I don't know for sure. Sometimes he brings it back, and he only he's the only one that reach ends, but I don't know for sure. Oh, he's pulling out Reinhardt again. This is one thing. That's the only reason why this guy is probably the strongest is because he be winning from time sometimes. Like, he be doing this, and now he has the most health. Then the time runs out, and he wins. So... That boy's a he's a goat when it comes to stalling. And right now he's completely winning. There we go. Rengoku start bringing it back fast though. Yup, Rengoku with the counter into some more combos. Into the air combo, into the down slam. Oh my god, Reinhardt. Who Rengoku? I feel like he got a little extra health to last through it. I don't think it's gonna do too much damage, but we'll see. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, we're gonna go at about 30, 40%. Subaru hitting him with the stun into the fire move. Oh, Rengoku pops a fire mode. Okay. Oh, that's gonna hit. Yup. And Rengoku's going into his ninth form. 
And here we go with the Rengoku ninth form. Hopefully that's enough to give to fight Subaru or give him a little bit more of a to finish Subaru. Subaru might not die though. That's one thing we know that he. Yep. Wait, no, he did die. Okay. Even though he usually has the revive, that was strong enough to completely finish the job. Oh, he popped Reinhardt as soon as the match started. Okay. I don't even know. It might hit. It might not. We'll see. Yeah, it's like a whole map type of slam move. Okay. Oh, he popped it again. Oh, my God. This boy's not finna let Rengoku relax. Okay. And he's hitting him with the sun, too. Oh my god, this boy is frying Rengoku right now. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I was about to say Subaru, he had the lead, but Rengoku is bringing it back fast. He's definitely gonna come back again. I just don't know how many times. Unless Rengoku does enough damage to kill him before he can. Oh my god, he, Rengoku might actually lose this round. Nah, he's holding, like, so it does it, when he, if he would have attacked, it probably would have one-shot him. It's like a really strong move if he holds it. Unless Subaru... Oh yeah, Subaru's coming back, alright. So I don't know if it's gonna get, hopefully it gives Rengoku a good amount of health back too, or Rengoku might fall here. Nope. Yep, told you it could change up. So now we're looking at Rengoku with less health off rip. And both Subaru with full health and full meter, which is dangerous. We're going into fire mode with Rengoku, and Rengoku has full bar. I'm not gonna lie, Subaru might want to pop Reinhardt here. Oh, yo, Subaru might end up taking this one. This is not looking good for Rengoku. Oh, and Rengoku hits the clutch move. Okay, Rengoku. As I say, it really might kill. Ninth form on a little bit of health left. Rengoku hits the ninth form and does a kill. No, it doesn't. One one Reinhardt and Rangoku's down. He's not popping it though. I don't, I know I've seen some type of cutscene. Thirty eight seconds. Can Rangoku clutch it in thirty eight though? Thirty eight. Rangoku got to cut the health down. Oh my god, 30 seconds on Goku. Yo, Ren Goku hears us. Oh my god. Sixteen seconds for Ren Goku to clutch it. Oh. oh that's a counter, that's a counter! Oh it didn't work! Oh! Oh, okay! Wait, yo, two seconds left. He better hope Re Zero doesn't bring his health back. He's about to. Oh, Su Subaru is gonna bring his health back. And Brink, he did it. He waited too late to do it. It doesn't count, right? Yo, imagine it counts. Oh, it does count. Okay. <laughs> yo, Subaru. I was like, Subaru is a demon. Okay, that was crazy. That is insane, man. Marie Zero ends up taking the L there. Rangoku and Demon Slayer clutch it out. Let me know down below what y'all want to see next. If y'all are ready for the next episode, what you got? You got anything to say, real quick, Flame? Like I said, Demon Slayer won. One Piece gonna get first place. 
One Piece is not winning, man. <laughs> I want One Piece to win, bro, but it's not looking too. They always be losing, bro. I think they're cursed. 100%, bro, but I catch you on YouTube. Yeah, we're high, ISO gang. We out of here.